matchups of today. Definitely. Both ra two ranked opponents. Um, we'll see each other at the Big Ten tournament as well, so it'll be a nice look for each other. Taylor just so athletic. So do some of these conference matchups now later in the season, do they work as, as a preview to kind of get yourself ready to see some of these guys when you head to Iowa? I would say um, I would say it definitely gives them a nice gauge to kind of see where they're at and, um, uh, you know, uh, what they need to work on and, um, you know, things of that nature. So Malone moved into the Intermat Top 20 on February 2nd after a 3-2 win over number 17, Rossi Bruno of Michigan. He earned a fifth place finish at the Midlands by posting six wins over two days in December and had an eight match winning streak from mid-November through about mid-December. He had a recent loss against number 12, Eric Montoya of Nebraska. Definitely a convincing win for the corner. Taylor doing a nice job scrambling out of that, not giving up a takedown. So just over a minute in, and now both guys again from the neutral position after going out of bounds, still looking for the first points of the 133 matchup. Western coming off a close win against Duke. Before that, a 39-6 loss to Nebraska. However, in the three matches before that, lost to Illinois, Minnesota, Michigan State by a combined seven total team points. They've definitely shown improvements as the season has gone on, just unable to finish in that final match. But now down 24-0. Northwestern is going to need a lot of things to go their way if they want to end the Big Ten regular season with one conference dual meet. Currently sitting at 0-8, the Badgers looking to improve to 3-6 and six in Big Ten competition. Not a ton of action uh, besides for that first shot. I think both guys are just kind of feeling each other out, uh, which you know typically you'll uh, you'll get that a lot when you you know you have two guys that are, are ranked you know, top 20 in the country, um, kind of feel each other out. They're aware of. Uh, we each other's strengths. Taylor's going to dig that underhook. Malone trying to dump there. Ten seconds remaining. And the first period comes to an end, still scoreless. In this number 19 versus number 11 matchup here at the Fieldhouse. Malone chooses to go downtown. Taylor will run. A lot of Badgers fans have their cameras out for this match. Caution against Northwestern. And Don Malone will jump a little bit early there. Both wrestlers coming from a uh, powerhouse high school programs. Uh, Taylor of St. Paris Graham uh, in Ohio, and uh, Malone coming from Wyoming, Wyoming Seminary in Pennsylvania. So um, two of uh, these guys have had some of the best coaching, and uh, you know it's, it's pretty easy to see why they are ranked uh, nationally. And Malone earns an escape. Malone's got the first points against the 2015 All-American. Malone, a senior, Taylor, the redshirt junior, so both in their fourth year on each of their respective campuses. Taylor's got one more year of eligibility left. Mm 
alone with a nice over counter shrug. Get Taylor moving a little bit. Malone reached number 19 in the national ranks a season ago as well. Just moved into the top 20 a couple of weeks ago. And a win against number 11, Taylor, would probably slide him up a little bit more. He's 4-4 four four in the Big Ten so far this season. A win would allow him to have an over 500 record on the air. He's 19-7 and seven overall. A 75 and 55 career record with the Wildcats. And Taylor with a nice over collar shrug. And he's gonna mad return, wow. That was impressive. Wow. That got the crowd going. So after a huge return to the mat, a lot of scrambling going on. No more points awarded other than the takedown. Taylor's just so strong, as you can see. Picked Malone up over his head. The previous ruling on the mat is under further video review by the official. Referee's head over to the monitor, checking for something. And both guys getting a little bit of a breather here after a lot of action there in the past 30 seconds. There's a clock reading eight seconds left in the second period. Taylor with a 2-1 advantage. at it here. A lot of scrambling around there. Might be checking to see if Malone could have been awarded an escape there. So no points given to the senior of Northwestern just yet. The three is definitely taking their time. Both competitors getting a lot of words of advice here from their coaches in a very competitive match. Maybe a slam. Either that or they looking for a reverse. Checking for locked hands there. No points awarded. Five the call is confirmed. And now in just the final seconds of the second period, it will end just like that. Two to one. Ryan Taylor, the redshirt junior, has the lead. Redshirt junior choosing the neutral position. And that's where the third and final period will start. Mike, what do these guys have to do now in these final two minutes to try and either hang on to this slim lead or get the come from behind victory? Well, I think uh, in, from Taylor's point of view, he just he needs to uh, uh, stay busy, uh, at least look busy, um, not, not chase so much, and just kind of uh, wait for Malone to come to him. Um, as far as Malone goes, he just needs to go. Uh, go, go, go. He's, he's got to match Taylor's pace and uh, see if he can get it on the legs. He got it on the legs early in one match, but he's got to be cautious of... Uh, Taylor's over collar shrug um, that he was able to take him down with in the second period. So both of these ranked wrestlers being very aggressive throughout the course of this match. And there's nothing as close. No chance. One minute remaining. Shrug, very impressive. He's going to pick up another takedown and go up 4-1. And he's going to look for back points here. 
And Long rolls out of it. Just over a minute of riding time. A 4-1 advantage. Just 10 seconds left. Malone gonna try and get an escape here. Taylor will bring him back to ground level and that's where this one will and likely end. He's gonna pick up a couple points at the end of the period. Or maybe not, very close. The winner by decision at 133 So a fifth point there. The riding time is a 5-1 final, Ryan Taylor. Coming up with another big win for Wisconsin. Wisconsin.